Well, then the colonel gave us a welcome speech, you know, a big group of us in the auditorium. And he says, I hope that you will be happy in the Army. But that is for your benefit. As far as the Army is concerned, we will make soldiers out of you anyway. So whether you like it or not, whether you're happy <laughs> about being there or not. It's up to you. <laughs> but, and anyway, well, basic training went pretty good. And, and at the end of basic training, well, I got to go to radio school. Uh, they're at Camp Roberts. And that was, um, I think, I only went to 14 weeks of basic training. Got out two weeks early to go to radio school. And... Uh, Radio school made some real good friends. Now you had to go switch from American Morse code to international Morse code at that time. Yes, and there were seven letters different, and it, I had trouble. I picked it up right real quick right at first, but as far as getting to be high speed, it was it was difficult. So how I'm I'm sorry again. How long were you there in basic training and training before you went to combat? Fourteen weeks in, in uh, uh, basic training. And I believe 12 weeks in radio school. And uh, then we were given seven days to uh, go from uh, Camp Roberts, California to Camp Stoneman, California, where we would get on a ferry, which would take us to San Francisco and get on a troop ship. And so we all uh, kind of made a little pact that said, Seven days is not enough. Let's all be two days late. What can they do to us? Send us to Korea? Where are we going to Korea? <laughs> and so I took, we all took two days extra, so we had nine days. And I went home that time and had a life-changing experience while I was home. I met your mother. Yes. Uh, well, I met her before. We'd, we had dated a few times before, but we were not real, uh, I guess, taken with each other. But for, uh, I went into Eastland. Uh, my parents lived on the farm at Rising Star, and I borrowed their car and went into Eastland. And I thought, well, there's four girls I'm going to call to see if I can get a date. With And, and Jenny's at the top of the list. And when I called her, while well, she was sounded so sweet and so happy. And so she, oh, of course, yes. And I, I said, well, would you want to go on a Coke date? Right now, oh yes, come on up. So I went on up and... Plan B, Plan C, and Plan D didn't have to happen. Uh -uh, no. Uh, one of the girls was working there at the drugstore that I was, was on. <laughs> the further down the list. Uh, further down the list. But anyway, uh, uh, we really hit it off. And so then I guess maybe by the second date, well, we decided we'd have a date every night I was home. And we, except one night, she had a school event, and I stayed home and talked to my parents. But anyway, uh, we just became very attached to each other. She was very pretty and had personality deluxe. And uh, I guess on my last night there, well, I was asking her if she would write to me and everything, and we talked and everything, and we decided that. She would wait for me until I got home and everything, and and uh, I told her it'd be okay to go ahead and date for school functions. Later on, I wrote and and we become engaged, and whenever we become engaged, she was very willing to no more dates, you know, and everything. So, but and didn't hurt her popularity any because she got elected queen of Eastland High School mm. her senior year. But she wrote to me, I guess, every day. Uh, while I was in Korea and sent me packages and, of chocolate candy and things like that and uh, meant a lot to me.